Coming up on Studio 76, the video game that will win Game of the Year. And the latest on what Justin Bieber is saying about his alleged baby mama. Finally, plus which band is taking a break after 10 years? Studio 76 starts. Welcome to Studio 76. I'm John Hall. And I'm Ben Davis. Each week, the games get bigger and better. You know what? And this week, the best-selling franchise of all time has some pretty major contenders. Hmm. Huh. Well, what, what about those contenders? We'll see now. It's time for this week's new video games from KWCR 88.1 Weber FM and Warp Zone. Holy awesome games this week! Unfortunately, I only have time to tell you about three. So here are my picks for this week's best. There are two types of gamers out there. Those who love Call of Duty and will buy Modern Warfare 3 this week, and those who hate Call of Duty and will buy Modern Warfare 3 this week. This is the best deal in gaming with three games in one a single-player campaign, several multiplayer maps and modes, and a Spec Ops and Survival mode. Unfortunately, zombies are missing in action, but still, everyone will buy this game, so you hardly need me to tell you that it's available now for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. My prediction for Game of the Year drops on Friday. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is an action RPG set in a completely open world. It's like Fallout with swords and magic. Everything and everyone in this game has a backstory and character, so the player becomes a member of the most immersive game ever made. Skyrim is available this week for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and the PC, and will most likely win Game of the Year on December 10th. Super Mario 3D Land hits the Nintendo 3DS with some new tricks. However, I only need to say two words to get you running out to buy a 3DS in this game. Tanuki Suit. The greatest power-up of all Mario games finally returns and will be available with Super Mario 3D Land only on the Nintendo 3DS Sunday the 13th. There are lots of other games available this week, but if you ask me, it's all about the Tanuki Suit. Get all your gaming news from Warp Zone Show at warpzoneshow.podbean.com. Go ahead, say it with me. Tiny I'm afraid suit. to. Tiny I mean, come on, suit. isn't that the funnest word that you've ever heard? I'm just, I'm gonna go over here and say Tanuki suit a whole bunch, so Tanuki suit. Okay, well, since suit. Ben is going crazy, here's Tanuki Katie suit. Connors with the latest on celebrity news. Hey guys, I'm Kaylee Connors, and today we're starting off with guilty news. The trial of Dr. Conrad Murray is now over after six long weeks. The jury deliberated for nine hours. They decided Murray was guilty of the involuntary manslaughter of the King of Pop, otherwise known as Michael Jackson. Murray faces up to four years in prison, and Michael's side of the family was thrilled with the verdict. Moving on now to Avril Lavigne and Brody Jenner. The two were in a fight that caused some major damage, but no worries, the couple weren't fighting each other. The duo were out partying at a bar when some people got all worked up. Brody and Avril said they did not cause any of the violence, but several of the fighters allegedly attacked them. Brody needed stitches in the head, and Avril had a bloody nose, black eye, bruises, and some ripped out hair. And lastly, here are a few headlines of other celeb stories you need to know about. Kim Kardashian unfollowed Chris Humphreys on Twitter, which I have to say is the biggest diss of all time. And in cute news, Taylor Swift bought a new kitten, and Justin Bieber says he's going to take a paternity test to prove he never made 30 seconds of love with his alleged baby mama. That's all for this week, back to you guys. Thanks, Kaylee. If Ben has finished looking for his Tanuki suit, maybe we can tell you about uh, the band taking a break. Yeah, it seems like the biggest names in music have really just been going away recently. Griffin Anderson tells us about one more band we may not be hearing about for a while. <laughs> Do 
Disturbed is one of the biggest names in the hard rock music scene. They've dominated for 10 years with four platinum albums dating back from The Sickness to the newest release, Asylum. Now unfortunately, Disturbed has decided to take an indefinite hiatus. The first big question on everybody's mind is, how long are they taking a break for? Disturbed's frontman David Draymond shines some light on the subject. You know, the, the industry is in a state of flux. I think that we'd all like to see the phoenix rise from the ashes sure. before we, uh, we think about. Since the band doesn't know what direction they're, they're going in yet, they have decided to release one, but hopefully not their final, CD. The CD is called The Lost Children. It is a collection of 16 B-side and unreleased tracks that didn't make the cut for their full-length albums. Tracks include Hell, God of the Mind, and their newest song, Three. Disturbs the Lost Children is available now. This is Griffin Anderson for Studio 76. Brothers and sisters, my blood, we are! We are! We are! We are! We are! We are! You can buy your copy at Hot Topic, Best Buy, and of course iTunes. Up next is another cheap meal from Weber Cokes. Hey, Steve has some great ideas for college students who want a warm meal they can bring with them to school. Mm. Steve! Hello, Wildcats. This is Weber Cooks, Steven. and today we're cooking spaghetti. We'll start by taking some spaghetti noodles, and we'll put it in the bowl. We just break them in half, put them in, add our water, and then this will cook for 10 minutes. And while that's cooking, we'll open up our can of spaghetti sauce and then when the spaghetti is done we'll be ready to drain it and our noodles are done cooking we take them out you got to kind of watch it because it's hot we're just going to strain our noodles We'll put it on our plate. We'll add our sauce to the noodles and we'll pop it back in the microwave. This time it'll be for three minutes. And our spaghetti Dinner is ready for you to eat, and it only took about 14 or 15 minutes in total to prepare. And it cost about a dollar, and I'm Stephen Reed, and that's Weber Cooks. I love how all of this cooking is done in the microwave, but I like to use a stove every once in a while. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit afraid of microwaves. Hey, thanks for watching Studio 76. Be sure to become a fan of Weaver State News on Studio 76 on, and Studio 76 on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and check out all our shows at www.weaverstatenews.org. Thanks for watching.